All right, what's going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Shooter. Today we've got the Uinta Precision Semi-Auto AR-15, the Arkin Optics SH4 Gen 2 on top and uh, running in the Arkin mounts. We've got that 20 MOA built in, which is nice. And we're gonna utilize that today. We're gonna go shoot some targets far away. We're gonna start at 575. Got a nice mellow wind going on somewhere around three to five miles an hour. Right now it seems a little bit low. So let's see if we can get on target. Uh, five mile an hour wind shooting Sierra 69 grain bullets, 26, 40 feet per second. Uh, five mile an hour wind should be about a half mil. So we're gonna start out with probably a three tenths mil and see what happens. Holding left edge. Hit high. Got it. Things keeps going high. Okay, we did end up getting some impacts on there. But uh, I'll tell you what, guys, we've got quite a few targets out here, so why don't we take a swing? Um, so that was 575. I don't feel like the wind was bullying us too bad. It seems like I had some weird elevation spreads there, maybe some kind of extreme velocity spreads possibly going on. The SDs on these are around 12, so it's not like fantastic, but it should be fairly good. Uh, let's see if we can push it out to 700 and get a hold of the target out there. Just for reference, our target at 575 was 8 tenths of a mil tall and probably 7 tenths of a mil wide. All right, guys, as we move up to 705 yards, looks like we're going to go up to eight and a half mils up. So eight mils per rev on this Arcan Optic. So we've got a full rotation up plus a half mil. That's hitting quite a bit high at 570. So I'm curious what's going to happen here. If we're going to end up very high or if we're going to be closer to the target. These SH4 Gen 2s are great optics. I highly recommend them. I have an affiliate link down below where you can pick one up. Very little wind. Let's go left edge and sender. No call on that. I don't know where that went. There it is, way high. Oh, last shot and I missed it. Just inches off the edge. Well guys, with this Uinta Precision AR-15, the semi-auto, I've been having a lot of good luck with it and I've really been enjoying my time out on the range with it. Uh, something else I should mention is I've got the new OSS 762 can on the end of it, which this rifle really seemed to prefer over my Magnum HXQD, which kind of all makes sense. My 6.5 Creedmoor liked the Magnum, which is the bigger can, and if I were to have an option of which one to run, that's the exact setup I would choose, and each rifle preferred that can. So that worked out. So Uinta is currently offering these rifles in 223 Wild, which is definitely my chamber of choice, which means you get to shoot 223 and 556. However, the free bore length. It's got the tighter tolerances of 223 Remington with a longer free bore length like the 556. So that's what the difference is there. So it's kind of like a match chamber that allows you to shoot heavier target bullets in your AR-15. I load my Sierra 69 grains to 2.250. Just give me a little bit of room in the magazines. I think the magazine length is like 2.260. All right, everything's ready to go again. So I'm hitting very high. I need to bring this thing down to one, two. I need to bring this down two mils. Holy crap, that data is off. Yeah, I'm like six and a half mils at 700 yards. So I don't know if like my speeds are off or what the hell's going on. Something in my data is wrong. So here we go. Impact, what a beautiful ring there. If you guys wanna pick up your own steel targets, be sure to check out the affiliate link to shoot steel targets down below.
missed the second one. <laughs> Good stuff there. So on my ballistics chart here, it's saying right around 675 yards, these bullets are gonna actually go below the speed of sound, which on occasion can cause weird uh, trajectories with the tr transonic flight. When it comes back down below the speed of sound, things can get a little wonky. So really 700, theoretically is as far as you wanna push it, but that's not gonna stop me. So let's see if we can find a target a little bit further away and see what we can make happen out here. Well guys, we've got the AR-15 lined up with an 830 yard target. Now, obviously this may or may not go very well. Um, this is really starting to push the range on, range on these 69 grain projectiles. Obviously like a 77, 75 grain bullet would be preferable at this range. Uh, this is just gonna be for fun, so whether we really tear it up or not, I don't really care. I just kinda wanna see what happens. Um, my ballistic chart called for 12, but at my last range I was two mils high, so I just dialed 10 to see what's gonna happen here. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up. Let's let a few rip into this canyon. That's another aspect of this is we're shooting into a canyon, so I'm not sure what the wind is doing in there. And uh, things could get interesting. Full size Ipsic though, this is a pretty generous target at this range. It's not very wide. It's a half mil wide target. So here we go. Just high. Impact, second round hit, not too bad. Yeah, the, the chart there still ended up high, so something's off in my data. My bullet must be flying faster than I think. Impact. 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 Point high. Not enough wind. Way right. What the hell? Impact. Well, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how that went. The second round impact after I figured out what my dope was wrong. And then I got some consecutive hits there. A few misses, but you know, the wind will definitely push these little guys around. And uh, as well as velocity spreads at this range, that'll really start to change your elevation. So 830 yards with this thing. And I think it did better here than the other two ranges we tried. So having a good time out here for sure. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the range trip out here with the semi-auto AR-15 today. We shot some real far targets, tore up some steel at some pretty crazy ranges. We also got defeated by a couple pieces at moderate ranges. But you know what? That's shooting. It happens. Uh, the dope was off today. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm thinking that I have more velocity than I accounted for, but I don't know why. I haven't changed anything. But uh, overall, this rifle's been performing really great for me. I'm really happy with it. I haven't even cleaned it yet. I think that's what I'm going to do when I get home is just clean that out. Make sure the uh, bolt face area and the uh, barrel extension is nice and clean on there. Running a can, even though it's an LSS that's supposed to lower back pressure, you still do get dirtier gases back into the gun with a direct impingement gun like this. It's a 16 inch barrel, 1 to 8 twist, uh, stainless steel. It's just been Cerakoted black and it's got the uh, Duracoat on the outside of this signature brown for the West Desert Shooter Rifle. Um, really stoked on this thing. You went to Precision knocked this out of the park. I've been having a ton of fun with this gun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to pick up a West Desert Shooter shirt or hoodie, those are available in the link below as well. Affiliate link to Arkin, affiliate link to Shoot Steel. You can find you went to Precision links down below. And uh, that should about round it out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this style of content. Be sure to comment if you do like this style of content. And we will see you guys in the next one.